right, I'm going to make a quick video. I'm going to post this up for sale. It's my, uh, it's a 1962 or 1964 um, Ken Craft. I believe it's a 26 footer. Um, I do not have a title on this trailer. I didn't buy it with the intent of ever putting it on the road, doing anything like that. I was planning on making it an Airbnb on my property. And we decided that we're going to build a casita here instead of do an old travel trailer. So I'm just making a quick video so you can see what you get, the condition of everything, because I know old travel trailers, they range from complete junk to fully restored. So this one is in actually really, really cool shape. All the original wood is in really nice shape. I've had a bunch of these trailers, not Ken Crafts, but old Spartans and stuff like that. And surprisingly, like all the roof vent areas that you would typically see damage are not damaged. Um, so I'm just going to go around so you can see the condition of everything. Um, the, it is set up with two twin beds. Um, I've never done anything with this. I bought it years ago. It sat on a property for about 20 years. The people before me, um, the, the man passed away. They lived in it before they had their house, which was over 20 years ago. So this thing hasn't been registered in forever. So um, he started to go through the bathroom after they moved into their house and never finished it. So this is the only part that's not complete. We'll get into that in a minute, but you can kind of see all the woodworking, which is cool. Like all the scrolly stuff is still there. All the cabinets are where they should be. Um, that one's got a broken handle. It's kind of dusty. You can see I had, there's like some old original lights. They were sitting there. That's what that is. Again, here is the roof around this one. This is just a piece of plexiglass that they put in there years ago, um, like a skylight. I guess it kind of worked out. So uh, you can see it's really nice. This was great, great bones if you're into restoring stuff. It does have the original windows, louvered windows. Some of them are plastic or Lexan, whatever they make them out of. Some of them are glass. Um, they open and close kind of okay, but like really the windows need to be addressed. So um, I don't know about any of the holding tanks on this. I don't know any of the condition of any of that stuff. I don't even know if it's got holding tanks. So I, like we were just going to plummet straight into the, the septic at our place here. And like I said, turn it into an Airbnb. So you've got cabinets. <laughs> this is kind of cool. You got your code of ethics for travel trailer owners. Lifetime warranty there from KenCraft. That's kind of cool. Some old literature on stuff is always cool. Uh, you're over... Uh, this would be a cool spot for a microwave if you were going to do it. That's what we were going to do is put a microwave up here. And this fits one of those um, taller mini fridges that they sell at like Lowe's and Home Depot. That's actually what they had in here. It was just an older unit. And with our plans, we were never going to use it. So I let the lady keep it. Um, it does need new cushions up front. There was nothing there which wasn't a huge deal. Like I wanted something that was going to be nice and comfortable for whoever rented it as an Airbnb. So that wasn't a big deal for us. Maybe it is for you. Maybe this isn't the trailer for you. I don't know. So I've never gotten into the oven hood, never hooked it up to electricity, never hooked it up to plumbing. I've never done any of that. We literally towed it here and it's been sitting for a couple years. So we just decided that we are going to go a different direction. So... I'm just showing you the kind of condition of everything before I post it up for sale. So this front end opens. It's really awesome. Like there's a big fiberglass cover. I'll show you when, when we walk the outside. I've had it open and this whole front area is like a big panoramic area, which is bitching if you have property that, you know, overlooks something nice. So underneath this carpet um, is like the black old school. I wonder if I could lift a corner. Maybe I could lift it right here. Oh, okay, so I'm wrong. There's not black old school. So I thought under part of this was like that old, uh, almost like schoolroom tile, like 12 by 12. I think it's called sh ship tiles or something like that. I don't know. Um, so anyways, into the bathroom. There's, I don't know what that is. Hot water maybe? Pretty good size closet. Um, you still got the original roof. The original tub still in it. Uh, again, you can see that it's not leaking or 
it's still hard all the way around it, which is nice. Got overhead cabinets. Oh, and I didn't realize they stay open, so we'll leave that open. You have to use two hands, and I don't have two hands. The original sink, it's got a chip in the porcelain. Back window, somebody made curtains out of towels. It is missing the shitter, and you would have to put a floor in it. Not as far as like a floor as, a, as in like a wood floor. It just needs, I guess it doesn't even need it, but I mean, most people, I guess, would prefer a some kind of finishing on the floor. So, yeah, hope that gives you a good idea of that. We'll walk cruise around the outside real quick and show you the outside. So, I think under one of these is a battery, but I'm sure the battery is not still good. So then you got a little storage nook there. Okay, your fire extinguisher it is definitely toast. So you can see all the woodworking though. It's pretty cool. And this is actually an old uh, uh, propane lamp. And not that you would use it, but it's cool to have. All right, so going around the outside, here is the KinCraft logo. And maybe somewhere on there, if you're a KinCraft person, you could do some deciphering. I'm thinking it's a 62, honestly, because we have 62 referenced a couple times here. So around the outside, you can see that big fiberglass piece that I was talking about that says KinCraft that pops open and it has hold downs. Um, and they're actually pretty stout. Like even in wind, you can keep it open. So trailer's super straight. It's been repainted. They didn't do a great job repainting it. It got the job done. It's just like a, like at this point, a flat white finish. So it'd be cool if you were into like redoing these and making them a different color and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to take these tire covers off, but I, okay, maybe I need to so you can see what's, what's under here. So I've had these tires covered. Hang on, I'm going to set you down, bear with me. Alright, there you go. Um, I've had those tires on there. Um, they are, so as far as tread goes, they are not the most fantastic tread. They're a newer date code, so they would roll down the road. I know nothing about the condition of the bearings or anything like that. When I did change the wheels and tires, they spun freely and work like they should. But like I said, this thing's been parked for many, many years. So it's up to you if you're going to tow it down the road. Um, I had to change the wheels because it had a set of split wheels, which didn't work out because nobody will work on splits. So um, you're missing that cover there. Here's the back side. So there's a shot side. You got your trunk that says Kincraft. I don't know what's inside there. So there's the other side. All the fiberglass and the roof and everything's in really good shape. That's what kind of saved these Kincrafts is that it's like all one big piece of fiberglass up there. Um, that's why old other trailers, the cheap trailers, would fail because the roofs would leak. But this being all fiberglass, it kind of saves these things. So you got the same deal underneath here, a set of newer wheels. They all match the other side. The tires, again, they're good enough to get down the road, but not fantastic. So that was an old antenna somebody had. There's your electrical thing. It's missing that cover. Um, yeah, so you got a rundown of what it looks like on the outside. Propane tanks are old. It's got some old sway bar connects. Obviously, those things are old school. The crank works like it should. It is a inch and seven eighths ball, not a two inch ball, inch and seven eighths. So hope you have a, a good idea of what it is. I'm gonna be listing it for sale. Again, it has no title. So if that's a problem, I'm sorry. I'm not doing anything about it. It hasn't been registered for ever and ever. Um, if a no title thing is a big deal for you, you can find another one, I guess. So, but it's going to be fairly cheap for one of these trailers. Like you don't see these every day, but it would be a great project for somebody with good bones that wants to put on their property and make a cool little Airbnb of a vintage early sixties trailer. So a little bit of love and it could be cool. Like I said, we are just going to build a casita and an addition on the garage and go away from the uh, travel trailer rental idea. So you got your Kencraft step there. So hope I showed everything. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Um, it is almost August 1st. I don't know what the date is. 2022 right now. I will probably have this thing uplisted on Craigslist in Mojave County, Las Vegas Craigslist. 
uh, Phoenix Craigslist, and possibly Inland Empire, California Craigslist. I don't know. And it's probably going to be right in the $2,000 range. So it's going to be fairly inexpensive. So oh, there's the door. You can see that too. But yeah, like I said, good bones. All the wood's in awesome shape. The roof's not all screwed up, which is killer. Um, just a little bit of love. And you could have yourself a sweet Airbnb. So, all right. Thanks for watching.